guys, before we get started on this video, I wanted to tell you really quick about a new project I've been working on. I call it the Endless Bundle. It's everything I've created, all of my pattern downloads. Um, it also includes my um, Learn Crochet Plaid course. I've also recently recently launched my Tips and Solutions Center. It's been really awesome to, to be able to help people um, alleviate those frustrations that happen with crochet that can be fixed with just tiny little tweaks. And it's endless because I'm adding stuff to it all the time. So this is something that you may be interested in. I have a link in the description. Um, slow down and check it out. Thanks guys. Hey guys, I am actually really excited to talk to you today about my newfound organization. Up until now, I have been stashing things and totes under my bed. I have loads and loads of shelves in my garage. When we had our baby, so before um, Cuppy was born, we were just, I was using that third bedroom as my office and I had everything kind of sorted in the closet. Still wasn't ideal. Um, but when she took over that bedroom, I moved a lot of my stuff into my bedroom. Um, and like I said, in totes, it went under the bed, it went in closets, some of it was still in the baby's room. Um, I'd sit down to work on something and 20 minutes of it would be spent trying to find my tool, trying to find where did I put that yarn I was planning on using. Um, but I think I've solved, I'm still cluttery, I'm still messy, but I've at least solved being able to find all of my tools. Let me show you the dream box. Yes, dream box. It is a dream. It is a dream, guys. Let me show you. Let me let me give you a tour of my newfound organization, which is new. It's a new thing for me to be organized, and it is amazing, life-changing. This is a cabinet. It looks like a little wardrobe when it's all closed up, and it has all of these little shelves, all of these little bins for me to keep everything. I do not keep a lot of yarn in it, just because I have so much yarn. But what is so important to me is finding all of my tools. I love it because I do things other than crochet. And I think that you do too. We are crafty people. We crochet, but maybe we also do painting. Maybe we also do beadwork. I love doing, um, making my own jewelry um, with beads and different findings. Um, so I have all of this stuff and I never get to enjoy it because all of my stuff is scattered throughout my house and so I think I'm gonna sit down, maybe I'm gonna make some earrings for my mom, maybe I'm gonna work on maybe cutting vinyl, and then I realize all of my stuff is separated out, I have 45 minutes to work on something, am I really gonna spend half of that just getting set up? And so because of that, I haven't used my Cricut in months. I probably only used it oh, three or four times since I bought it. You guys, isn't that so sad? <laughs> So here is my Cricut. It's plugged in. It's ready to go. All I have to do is pull it out and start working. And I keep all of my vinyl. My vinyl's right here. I was keeping my glue stick like in my junk drawer in my kitchen because I was like, this is the most accessible place. I'm gonna remember that it's stashed in the back of the junk drawer. And now it has its own home in my dream box. And the best part about it is too, is that it's completely customizable. You can put you can order taller bins. So I wanted the shorter ones because I knew that I had lots of paper. I knew that I had vinyl. I knew that I had um, lots of different tiny things that needed to be kept, but you can, you can even get it with bins that are double high. So if you wanted to keep all of your yarn in it, really accessible, and you can also not put shelves in if you don't want to. So I didn't actually didn't put a shelf here so that I could put all my books in this cubby. You can also get these cute little drawers. Um, I have three places I'm keeping my hooks because I'm crazy, but I have my clover hooks that I keep in this drawer so I can grab them really fast. And then I kept keep this jar so I can keep my bigger hooks that don't go in that container. And then I have a giant, well, giant isn't the right word, but I have a big tote over here that I keep all my big hooks, all the other hooks that don't have a special home, all of my older hooks that I don't use, uh, all my special hooks. I keep them all right there. I've got string, I've got pom-pom makers. This, you know, you I can customize it. And so it came with all these tiny little bins, but I actually kept this one empty so I could put my um, blocker in there. This is my favorite drawer right here. All of my safety eyes organized by size. I've got the backs so I can come when I'm working on a project and it's not like this whole time-intensive labor trying to find the eyes that I need for my project. 
over here I have stashed my numerous amounts of markers. Oh, I remember, I remember a couple months ago I had misplaced this thing and I needed it for another project and I was just one day away, one shopping trip away from buying a new one because I couldn't find it and I finally found it and I'd stashed it in a bin with the last project I had used it with. So this is still gonna take some practice for me to put everything back where it goes, but at least now everything has a home. I have like my markers, my pens, little kid paintbrushes go right there. Down on the shelf, I've got places to hang my scissors. I have clearly taken my scissors and I put them back. So still, still got some work to do. I also opted to get this um, extra shelf. So the, the regular version of the plain version of this comes with this middle shelf only that folds up when you put the cabinet away. This one you can also get I mean, it creates like this nice L-shaped table so that I can, for instance, if I'm cutting on my Cricut, I can put my computer over there, um, all my materials, and then I'm cutting on the Cricut and it's not in the way of anything. So the Cricut can have the whole amount of space. Another thing that I've always hated is just stashing my Cricut mats. I don't know, that long blue one I bought because I wanted to do bigger projects like maybe a wall decal or something. And then I had nowhere to put it. It was like stashed behind my desk, getting kind of bent. Um, anyway, so I installed like this little hook. It comes with hooks, but it didn't have a hole for to put one in exact the middle. It had three and three. And so I installed one of these little, like a sticky hook and it just, it comes off. It's like damage free hook and I just put it in the middle. And now I hang all my Cricut things on it, my Cricut mats. So I have found a home for everything that was kicking around my bedroom. It was like I was stashing stuff everywhere, not being able to find anything, wasting time. Um, that time is so precious and when I'm using that time, wasting that time because I can't remember where I put my thing, whatever thing it was, because it doesn't have a home, it doesn't have a real home. Um, just, just having this organization is just so, um, I just feel like some clutter has been cleaned out of my head a little bit. The clutter out of my bedroom is really helpful. It's really, I think it's hard to look at clutter in a place where you're supposed to be relaxing. Um, my daughter is really, both my kids are really artistic and they come in and they're like, mom, where's the paint brushes? Mom, where's the paint? And I'm like, mm, I know exactly where it is. It's in my dream box and it's over there and you can reach it and go get what color you want. It's just, it's just amazing. And now I have time to do those things that I love. I have time to sit down and create in a space that's meant for creation. So it's awesome.